All right, so I went to a problem, um, through a problem that um, I just purchased the NVIDIA Shield and this remote did not want to update. I was checking some forums online and nobody had a solution for it. Some people said um, to disconnect it, they um, tried to um, connect and disconnect it or basically give the box a, a restart and it was... Um, some people said they got it to work, but I found out what the issue really is. Um, they probably did this and not notice it. But when you move this control, it tells you which one is the active control. Right now I have this control and it's showing right there that is the active control. Well, if you want to update this control, you cannot have it as active. For instance, if I wanted to um, update my thin this other thin control which I really don't know the name of but I just got this um, to update this control it cannot be active so that was my problem as soon as I be made this control active over here and I chose to give it the update it worked fine see right now this is the active control and I am updating this one right here so it cannot be active so if I wanted to up up, uh, upgrade my game control it cannot be active I would have to use this control up here see and now the shield control is the active one and now I can update my game control okay so that is a huge problem I did not see any solutions online but I figured it out and I thought I'd share it with you guys um, so just remember if you want to update a control make sure the control is not active if it says active on the side it's going to give you problems for the update so use the other one to to to, to be able to uh, update this one okay so if you want to update the game control that right now is not active this is the time to update it if you want to update the shield control then use the game control to act see now it's active and now you can go and click on here I'm sorry, and click on the uh, control and then update it. Right here you go to uh, Shield Accessories. I'm sorry guys, I'm still uh, getting to learn to see right here. And uh, as you can see, my active control is the game control. So now I go here and I believe that, there we go, right here. And then it will tell you uh, firmware update and then you can update it and it will work fine. But if you try using the actual Shield control and it turns to active, like it's doing right now there we go let's see wait a second I'm sorry okay there we go see it went to active right there yeah it will not update on you see so if I want to act uh, I want to update the shield control it will not work because it's active so again you want to update it use this one and then update your shield control so I hope uh, I hope that's going to solve the problem for a lot of people because I've searched for videos and there's just not, there's not one. There's not one video um, solving this problem. I went to a couple of forums. Uh, some people, I guess, got lucky because they probably did that, that I did, but they didn't notice that it was actually because the control was active and it wasn't updating. So I hope I can help a lot of you guys out there with this problem. Take care and thanks for watching.